to this week's edition of the Artistic Biker. Last week on the Artistic Biker, we did a tribute to the tornadoes that ripped through Oklahoma and Missouri and Arkansas and Louisiana. It's terrible. Worst tornadoes in the, in the history of tornadoes, as far as we know, or at least the history of we've been keeping track of tornadoes. So I did a little tribute like the over the rainbow thing with my Ruby biker slippers. Click them three times and say there's no place like home. Maybe, maybe the tornadoes go away. You might be able to make out the house in the background still in the sepia black and white. It was a fun page. and Be sure and click on the link and you can go back to last week's and see how we did it. This week, however, I discovered a spider web artist. And I really want to go try his technique of catching spider webs. However, he does bevel glass, and I'll show you a couple of pictures of his work. He does it on bevel, on bevel glass. I'm going to do it in my book. So with that, let's turn the page and get started. Okay. Ready? The Spider and the Fly, based on the cautionary poem by Mary Howard. Will you walk into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair, and I have many curious things to show you when you are there. Oh, no, no, said the little fly. To ask me is in vain, for who goes up your winding stair can never come down again. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed, said the spider to the fly. There are pretty, cur pretty curtains drawn around, the sheets are fine and thin, and if you like to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh, no, no, said the little fly, for I've often heard it said, they never, never wake again who sleep upon your bed. said the cunning spider to the fly, Dear friend, what can I do to prove the warm affection I have always felt for you? I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please Daddy, take a slice? The sorry roll of always sounds flat. Oh, no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I have heard what's in your pantry and I do not wish to see. Sweet creature, said the spider, you're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings, how brilliant are your eyes. I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you'd step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you're pleased to say. In bidding you good morning now, I'll call another day. The spider turned him round about and went into his den. For well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. She wove, so he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly, and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then he came out to his door again, and merrily did sing, Come hither, hither, pretty fly, with a pearl and silver wing. Your robes are green and purple, there's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. Alas, alas, how very soon the silly little fly, hearing his wily, flattering words, came slowly flitting by. With buzzing wings she hung aloft, then near and nearer drew, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue, thinking only of her crescent head. Poor foolish thing, at last, up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlor, but she never came out again. Oh no, I wrapped up an old spider web with a fork in knife. And now, dear little children, who may this story read, to idle, silly, flattering words I pray you ne'er give heed. Unto an evil counselor, close heart and ear and eye and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. Can I read the letter? Okay. Dear sweet creatures, no doubt you finished our delicious tale and are surprised by this little tragedy. But then again, what did you expect from a story about a spider and a fly? Happily ever after, spiders are trappers, for goodness sakes. We've been doing it for generations and we're quite good at it. Even your beloved Charlotte and E.B. White's classic Charlotte's Web admitted as much. But alas, the poor dear never capitalized on her fortune. Now if I were in her shoes, <laughs> I would be eating bacon. 
With the wealth of knowledge about spiders and our crafty carnivorous ways, you'd think my web would be empty. But not a day passes without a hapless bug or two stopping by. What's spider to do? To be completely fair, my most recent dinner guest put up a commendable fight. But I am a talented and persistent hunter with many schemes up my sleeves. And as you can see, I always get my bug. So what does all this talk of spiders and traps have to do with you? Be warned, little dears, and know that spiders are not the only hunters, and bugs are not the only victims. Take what a street spider within these pages to heart, or you might well find yourself trapped in some schemer's web. <laughs> bon appétit. <laughs>